How to fix Reolink and VR not connecting to internet. Step 1. Initial checks. Check physical connections. Ensure that the Ethernet cable connecting the NVR to the router is securely plugged in. If possible, replace the cable with a known working one to rule out cable issues. Power cycle devices. Restart both your Reolink NVR and the router. Unplug them from the power source. Wait for about 30 seconds and then plug them back in. Step 2. Disable firewall, VPN, MAC filtering, and AP isolation. Disabling firewall. Open a web browser and enter the router's IP address, commonly 192, 168, 1, 1 or 192, 168, 0, 1. Log in using your admin credentials. Look for a section labeled security or firewall. Find an option that says enable firewall and toggle it to off. Disabling VPN. Within the router settings, locate the VPN section might be under advanced settings. Toggle the VPN setting to off or uncheck any boxes that enable it. Disabling Mac filtering. In the router settings, search for Mac filtering or access control. Toggle the Mac filtering option to off or remove any configured Mac addresses. Disabling AP isolation. Navigate to the wireless section of the router settings. Look for an option labeled AP isolation or client isolation. Set it to off. Step 3. Check NVR network settings. Check the network status of the NVR and switch between static IP and DHCP for testing. Log in to the NVR with a monitor attached. Go to Menu Network General and take a picture of this interface. For NVRs with the old UI, the network status page looks like this. Network status page for NVRs with old UI. For NVRs with the new UI, go to Device Settings Networked Network Status. Step 4. Update Reolink Firmware. Visit the Reolink Download Center and download the latest firmware. Make sure to select the correct model and hardware version for your devices. Keeping firmware updated can resolve many connection issues. Step 5. Contact Reolink Support. If the issue persists after trying all the steps, reach out to Reolink Support for further assistance. Provide them with details of the troubleshooting steps you've taken and any error messages received.